Hello and welcome back. So in the previous few lectures, we talked about virtual machines and why we need them for this course. We also mentioned that for creating our virtual hacking lab, we will need a virtualization software as well as an operating system that is used for hacking, which is also known as Kali Linux. Now let's see where we can download both of these. So let's start off with the virtualization software. For this course, we will be using VirtualBox. Now, VirtualBox is a free virtualization software and it is quite easy to use and it's compatible with almost all the operating systems. All you have to do is type in VirtualBox in your search bar and the first link, which will be virtualbox.org, is the one that we're looking for. So just click on this, Oracle VM VirtualBox at virtualbox.org and it will lead us to the official page of VirtualBox where we will see this big download button that allows us to download this virtualization software. So once we click on it, it will lead us to this page where we can choose which platform packages or in other words, which version of VirtualBox we want to download. Now these are different versions depending on which operating system you are running. So if you are running Windows, you want to go with Windows hosts. If you're running OS X, you want to go with OS X hosts. If you're on Linux, then you want to go to Linux distributions and so on and so on. Now, since I'm on Windows, I will be clicking Windows hosts and this will ask where to download this VirtualBox installation file for our virtualization software. Now, I already have it, so I won't be downloading it, but you want to save it wherever you want. So just save it on your desktop. And once you do that, let's move on to downloading Kali Linux. We can find Kali Linux at Kali.org org website, which you can just type in your search bar, or you can just type Kali Linux and the first link should open this page. As we can see, it says the most advanced penetration testing distribution, and we get a small description of what Kali Linux is. So let's quickly read it. Kali Linux is an open source Debian based Linux distribution geared towards various information security tasks, such as penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. Okay, awesome. To download it, we want to go to either get Kali or on download. Once we click on download, it will lead us to this page where we will have several different versions of Kali Linux available for download. Now, we want to go with installer images. We can also go with virtual machines, but to have it exactly as we do in the course, we want to go with the installer images as our option. So click on installer images and down here, we will see the current version of Kali Linux, which is 2022.3, and it will give us several different options from what we can download. So we have 64-bit, 32-bit, and for the Apple Silicon, M1 and M2 chips. Okay, so depending on what your architecture and operating system is, you want to choose accordingly. Now, since I'm running a 64-bit machine, I want to check right here 64-bit, and I want to choose this installer option. So 64-bit, installer, and all I have to do is click it, and it should work. It will ask me where I want to download. Now, once again, I already have Kali Linux downloaded right here, so it's on my desktop. No need to download it twice. For you, just save it on your desktop as you did with your VirtualBox installation file, and you should be good to go. Now, if you're by any chance on a 32-bit machine, you want to select 32-bit and go once again with the installer, or if you are on M1 chip or M2 chip on MacBook, then you want to select Apple Silicon and proceed with the installer. However, if you are on Intel Mac or if your MacBook doesn't have an M1 or M2 chip, but rather has an Intel processor, then you want to once again go with 64-bit just like I did. Now, quick little note for anyone using Apple Silicon 
M1 or M2 chip, VirtualBox will not work for you. So for you instead, you want to go with UTM. Now UTM is only for the people that are using a MacBook with M1 or M2 chip. If you're using any other device, you're going with VirtualBox. And one more thing, this is the current version of Kali as we already mentioned, but in case you want to download any older version, you can go to old.kali.org, base images, and here you will have all the versions that were released before. In this particular course, we are using the 2020 version, but it doesn't really matter. I do advise you to download the latest version of Cal Linux whenever you can. So if at the point of you watching this tutorial, it's 2022.3, go with that version. If there is a newer version available, go with the newest version instead. Nonetheless, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lecture.